that we care about each and every one of your children. We wanna to get to know them. We wanna to get to know you. Um, being in the virtual world most of last year, we did a great job building community, but we really missed the, uh, the connection. We really missed seeing everybody here on campus. So we're excited to be able to do that this year safely with everyone um, back on campus. And so we just wanted you to sort of know that we're, we're starting this year off and starting this coffee with the principal off with the essence of love and care and that we really want to bring students back with care entry um, instead of re-entry, but with care and um, for care for how they're feeling and just sort of the big year that it was um, and the big year that it still may be. So with that, um, our hearts are with your hearts and we're excited to do this um, as a team. Um, cuando pensamos cómo vamos a organizar esta presentación, realmente lo más importante, lo primordial es acordarnos que no solamente estamos aquí para educar a los estudiantes para que a, a, con su aprendizaje, pero su estado emocional es, es tan importante. Y también aquí estamos para apoyar y reforzar que aquí estamos de razón para apoyarlos, para darle, brindarle ese amor y ese apoyo. Uh, y realmente considerar que nosotros somos una familia y aquí uh, bienvenidos a nuestra casa, que es su casa también, que es la escuela, um, porque realmente quiero, queremos que empezar con esa nota sabiendo que están en familia. And again, I just want to repeat that in English because I just want you to all feel that, you know, you are at home. And I think we, it, it has been very apparent to me that this is a family and that you're welcome to our Mitchell Torino family and want to make sure that we reiterate that. And of course, no learning can happen unless someone, unless our students are feeling comfortable. And um, that's what we want to ensure that we get that message across. So for today's meeting, it is pretty jam packed and full. Um, as you can see, this is our agenda of the things that we'll be covering, but I want to let you know that we sent out all of the same information in written form. Um, so when I sent home the phone call and the email, it was attached. Um, so please make sure you check your email for the written form. And we also sent it um, actually in hard copy and it was sent out yesterday in the mail. So you should be receiving the hard copy um, as well, plus the digital and then obviously here today. So lots of areas to get the same message. Mm -hmm. Entonces hay muchas maneras, tenemos la agenda, de, uh, muchas maneras en donde vamos a presentar esta información. Lo mandamos a carta, en una carta um, a casa ayer. También vamos a grabar, lo hicimos por um, también correo electrónico. Entonces, esta información lo estamos repitiendo, pero es, es la razón porque queremos asegurar que reciben la información para que se sienten preparados. And so for those of you that are new, or for those of you that have been part of our community for a while, um, maybe this is a refresher, but we wanted to let you know that we do have a strong vision um, and a mission that we um, co-created together with our families and our staff. Um, and this is something that guides all the work we do. Um, so take a minute to, to get familiar with our vision and mission. Um, and really the idea that we're cultivating knowledge through our creativity, through our community and through our diversity. And those kind of highlight the things that we value most. In a moment, we will see in Spanish our vision and the vision of our school and the vision of our school. Esto realmente le vamos a dar un tiempo para que puedan leer esto. Nos realmente nos guía a todo lo que hacemos en nuestra escuela. Y lo importante, nuestra lema es cultivando el conocimiento a través de la creatividad, la comunidad y la diversidad. Y es algo que cada escuela tiene un énfasis diferente, um, pero el, realmente eh, creamos esto en conjunto con los padres, los estudiantes, los, uh, el personal. Y esto declara un poquito de cómo somos nosotros. So thinking about ways that we cultivate knowledge, um, Ms. Rios is going to talk to you a little bit about some of the things we do um, as our school to do that with our scholars. Yes. So one of the things that we're talking about in terms of cultivating knowledge, we have a lot of wonderful programs here and each school is different. And so a little bit about our school is that we really think it's important for students to find their voice and to be actively engaged in instruction. So all of this being said is that we're we are guided by our growth mindset, which is meaning that we empower our students to realize that maybe they don't know something yet, but the question is to answer that with, we don't know it yet. And if you can see on the um, 
and to kind of inspire them to keep uh, learning from their mistakes and really being uh, resilient and trying to figure things out in different ways. And part of our curriculum, we do readers and writers workshop, and you can see some of our students who are so proud of the work that they put in. Um, and um, they're there celebrating their, their um, them themselves as authors. And over here, we see them participating in um, novel studies as well. Um, over here, one thing important about our school is that one, um, we actually, we're trying to empower our students, one, through a growth mindset, and we also use cognitively guided instruction, which is a way um, we actively, uh, we are not learning just by rote, we want the students to be engaged and to ask them questions and to figure out and, and really um, be able to explain how they came up with an answer and knowing that Maybe they don't, they didn't get the answer right, but learning why and being able to justify their answer. So those are something a little bit about how we cultivate knowledge here. Um, una cosa que hacemos um, para cultivar ese conocimiento es importante en nuestras ideas en cómo hacemos esto. No es una, una uh, meta solamente de memorizar datos, pero realmente involucrar a todos los estudiantes para que ellos se sienten parte del proceso del aprendizaje, de poder explicar cómo es que resultan un, un, uh, sus matemáticas. Y aquí tenemos um, diferentes programas para realmente um, tener a estos estudiantes para que ellos encuentren su voz um, como actor, como escritor um, y como uh, cuando está leyendo. Entonces aquí tenemos muchos talleres uh, de aprendizaje donde los estudiantes realmente pueden crear y estar parte de, de este aprendizaje en una manera de que ellos no se sienten um, son solamente que nosotros somos los expertos y tienen que memorizar esto realmente um, desarrollando su, sus metas para uh, críticas para para um, aprender y una manera que lo hacemos es saber de que ellos sepan que ellos tienen la mentalidad para aprender y ellos pueden hacer errores y eso está bien. Eso es parte de un aprend el aprendizaje, saber por qué sacó un error mal y es importante porque um, para los estudiantes, para que ellos encuentren y sean realmente um, encuentren su voz. And so thinking about how do we connect and build our, um, build our students' knowledge, we also do that through creativity. And so these are some pictures that represent some of the various um, arts that we've had at our school. Um, so we do, we've had visual arts at our school before, we have um, instrumental music and orchestra for our upper grade students, and we've had after school enrichment arts that have been created and supported by parents. And so um, this is something that we are arts-based focused school. We're not just a language school. And we understand that in the you know, 22nd century skills that students need, um, that really thinking about all of the different ways that they can show what they know and that the arts builds um, confidence in students and it lets them have an outlet and they can share their voice. Um, so we will have a um, dance teacher this year provided by LAUSD. We will have instrumental music this year provided by um, our LAUSD teacher. The other art programs are something that we partner with um, our community and we partner with Friends of Mitchell Terrena. We do everything within partnership with them. And in, in essence, um, we fundraise and we look for parents to participate in our fundraising programs to bring in extra funds to re be able to bring in more arts. Um, and so that's something that in order for us to bring in more arts, such as a theater teacher or as a visual arts teacher, um, those are things that we fundraise for to do. Um, and so we're excited to be able to continue fundraising this year um, in more proactive ways so that we can continue to have the arts. And we're looking at you parents, if you have something that you enjoy do doing, this picture of the ballet folklorico was because we had a parent who volunteered after school and taught ballet folklorico. So if you have some type of skill that you'd like to do an after school class, we are happy to have your creativity. Um, you know, the, the sky is the limit. And if you have the skill and you have the time, um, we will have you volunteer and do that with us. Mm -hmm. Importante también otro que valoramos mucho la creatividad y para nosotros entonces eso es, significa que nosotros realmente ponemos énfasis. Vamos a ver aquí ejemplos de cosas que han hecho en el pasado 
um, pero sabemos que es, eh, no podemos hacer um, todo sin la ayuda de los padres. Um, una de las cosas que hacemos a veces es recaudar fondos para aún dar más oportunidades para, por ejemplo, a tener una, un maestro de actuación o de, de um, baile. Vemos aquí una foto de un baile folclórico que fue... Um, este, pudimos poner ese baile folclórico porque tu, tuvimos un padre que ayudó teniendo clases después de la escuela y, tu, y compartió sus habilidades con nuestros estudiantes. Aún vamos a hablar un poquito más sobre cómo pueden ser voluntarios si quieren ustedes compartir part, um, algunas habilidades que tienen. Uh, pueden ser habilidades manuales o visuales que pueden ayudar con nosotros. Pero sí tenemos un maestra de música, uh, tenemos um, también Um, aparte que, que nos provee el distrito, pero aún queremos hacer más. And next, we'll go into community. Ms. Rios? Yes. Um, it's important for us, for us to make sure we feel that we're in community with each other. And so I know that we've already had um, friends of Mitchell Torina, and we have a uh, wonderful activities that they have to to build that community not so not so much just in our classrooms or in our school but even out, outside of our classrooms and so there's a wonderful event that um our um that Aaron uh, mentioned which is the back to school social and it's Sunday August 8th for those of you who um, joined a little bit later from 10 to 12 um and it's at the Bellevue Rec Center and of course we're going to have to wear our masks but we're trying to build community not 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 just only at our school site we know that we are restricted by um our COVID protocols but we also want to still feel a way that we can build that and we're also giving uh, different opportunities um through a kindergarten virtual orientation, which, which we will be through Zoom, but we are also doing small groups of kindergarten tours and first grade and new family tours um, on the 11th and on the 12th. Uh, we will, we have shared up Sign Up Genius so that you can, um, and I will drop the link in the chat. So if you haven't signed up for that and you're a kindergarten student or a first grade student or a new, or a new family and like to actually tour our school, we want you to feel at home. Um, importante para nosotros realmente crear una comunidad donde todos se sienten apoyados y parte de esta comunidad. Y parte de eso es vamos a tener um, el grupo Los Amigos de Michotorena. Hacen muchas actividades donde pueden compartir con um, los otros padres y, y, los, uh, y conocer otros est los estudiantes. Um, uno que vamos a tener es el, el, este domingo a las um, de 10 a 12. Um, in Bellevue Rec Center, que, es el, que queda cerquita, pero necesitamos tener las mascarillas. Sabemos que no, desafortunadamente no hemos podido tener muchas cosas en la escuela por um, los protocolos de seguridad que tenemos. Pero sabemos también, queremos crear esta comunidad, especialmente para las familias nuevas también, que um, vamos a tener Um, um, oportunidades para que ellos vengan a la escuela y también los de primer grado porque sabemos que en kinder no pudieron venir y tenemos para los que están entrando en kinder le voy a poner uh, el enlace en el chat para que puedan um, uh, si quieren estar interesado pueden entrar and we know that growing and cultivating and raising students to be citizens of the world takes a lot of work It takes teachers, it takes educators, it takes parents, and it takes community partners. So these are all of the community partnerships that we do with um, as a school to sort of make our school as enriched and robust as it can be. So we do partner with the LA Opera, um, that is a um, arts program for our fourth grade students. Um, we partner with Enrich LA and they help our garden ranger program. And we partner with the community who also helps with our community garden. Um, friends of Mitchell Terena, who do so much for us, our Amity program, um, which brings us um, Spanish speaking teachers from foreign countries. And it's a foreign exchange program. So host families give their homes up and the um, foreign exchange students come and live with us for a year and they help at our school. Um, we do our cognitively guided math instruction with partnership with UCLA. We have the Young Storytellers program, which helps our fifth graders become screenwriters. And we also do responsive classroom to create a really amazing classroom that is inclusive and responsive. And we do morning meetings and community building activities. So it really takes a village. And these are just some of the things that make Mitchell Trena unique and special. Yeah. 
algunas otras cosas que nosotros a, a, tenemos acá en nuestra escuela es estas asociaciones comunitarias. Ya hablamos mucho sobre el, los amigos de Michotorena que realmente nos ayudan a recaudar fondos, pero no solamente eso, nos ayudan apoyando en muchas actividades. Um, pero también nosotros tenemos otras oportunidades um, específicamente para nuestra escuela. El programa es um, Amity Institute, o sea, el programa de Amity que realmente nos trae uh, maestros de otros países uh, de habla hispana, donde ellos vienen a nuestra escuela, familias de nuestra escuela, realmente les invita a estos maestros que vivan con ellos y ellos vienen a nuestra escuela y sirven como otro maestro de español en nuestra escuela. Um, quiero decir que nuestra escuela es la única en nuestro distrito que realmente toma ventaja de este programa, entonces es algo bonito que tenemos nosotros. Aún también tenemos un grupo que se llama Young Storytellers, que ellos realmente son, son actores que nos ayudan a, a realizar la escritura de, de los alumnos de la escuela. Um, escuela. Ellos hacen los escenarios y nos ayudan a realmente a... Um, a ayudar a nuestros estudiantes a escribir sus guiones para poder uh, sacar adelante su escritura. También tenemos en, a través de nuestra escuela, tenemos oportunidades que, uh, con la ópera de los, los Ángeles, donde los estudiantes vienen y hacen una producción. También, como les mencionamos, ten, tra, tenemos una, uh, también estamos en una asociación con la escuela UCLA, con la, el departamento de matemáticas. Y también nosotros somos una escuela que todos participamos en lo que decíamos una, un salón responsivo. O sea que realmente nosotros um, tomamos tiempo para realmente, uh, conocer a nuestros estudiantes, especialmente con los, um, en los mensajes de la mañana y círculos que tenemos para uh, practicar. And now Thinking about the piece that really is the closest to my heart is um, how do we build our um, community around the sense, sense that we're diverse. And so these two pictures kind of represent a few things about being diverse, although we are diverse in terms of the, the students that come here, the socioeconomics, the language, even our teachers are diverse. Um, but what we wanted to highlight is that we, we use um, the idea of windows and mirrors and that we want our classrooms to be windows for students to um, see somebody who may look different than them and understand where they're coming from and have some empathy. And we also want our classrooms to be mirrors where students can see themselves and connect with somebody in a book um, who's just like them. And so these are things that we do with our curriculum and with the conversations we have, with read-alouds, um, with the activities, the social studies, and the art. Uh -huh. Otra co co cosa importante de nuestra escuela es que realmente nosotros enfocamos en la diversidad y celebramos la diversidad porque sabemos que es importante reconocer que cada persona trae, tiene valor, uh, nos ayuda y aún vemos acá, por ejemplo, un regalo que recibimos um, uh, de, de la clase que, anterior que se acaba de graduar. Um, y eso es una um, libros de, de, de realmente que son diversos, donde realmente los estudiantes se pueden ver en um, nuestros libros, se pueden ver un personaje que se ve como ellos, que, que habla como ellos y también que también les da una oportunidad. Le decimos esto como un espejo y también como ventanas para una ventana para ver a alguien diferente de ellos y aprender un poquito sobre ellos. Y aquí hay dos ejemplos, uno de los libros que nos regalaron el año pasado. Y aún viendo aquí cómo vemos diferentes personas de diferentes razas, diferentes edades representados y de eso lo que queremos hacer, tener diversidad para poder realmente aprender cómo llevarse uno con el otro y apoyarlos. So now we're going to get into more of the nuts and bolts of getting ready for that like first week of school here. Um, and getting more into the logistical piece. Um, so in order for your child to be able to be ready and come to school, um, we gotta go over some of those real big safety protocols, um, which is, um, shouldn't be new, but we, um, our district and part of the um, LA County Department of Public Health guidance for K-12 schools is that all students um, and adults um, coming onto the campus are required to wear a face mask over their nose and mouth. Um, so we want our students to be ready and prepared Um, we do have masks that can be provided at our gates for students that may come without one. We have reusable masks. 
I mean, sorry, disposable masks. Um, but we know that our students like to bring ones from home. So make sure your child has a, a face mask that fits properly and that they are used to wearing it. Um, we also highly suggest that you even be, maybe put some extras in their backpack because sometimes when it, they go to have their snack or um, you know they're running around, it gets kind of wet or soiled. So it's good to have extras. And then the other important piece to know is that we want your child to be feeling well when they enter school. Um, so make sure your child feels well. Um, when they arrive on campus, we will have those daily health check questions um, that they're gonna be asked. Um, and it, it's easier if those questions are answered through the daily pass portal. Um, so you can answer them at home or on your device in the car. Um, it just asks if your child is feeling well in the past four days, have they had any symptoms or been exposed, et cetera. And then what will happen is you will create a QR code and that QR code can be printed and you can hand it to your child for them to take to school. Um, or you can have it on your device when you come to the gate or when you come to our car drop off line. Um, in order to be able to generate that code, um, you go to the parent portal and our, um, our office can help you create that parent portal account for yourself. Um, you have to register for it um, and it's part of the daily pass um, website and we'll put all of that in the chat for you on how to get it. Um, but those are like the super important parts is that we're going to be masked up um, and that we're going to be doing the daily health checks. Um, those are two big important pieces. Mm -hmm. Y entonces ahora importante es, ahora vamos a dar la información que realmente necesitan para poder des, um, estar preparados para la escuela, entonces para este regreso. Entonces se requiere para todos los estudiantes y todos los que están una mascarilla, um, importante tenerlo. Um, entonces, por favor, pueden um, en llevar a dejar que los niños aseguren que ellos tengan una mascarilla. Si um, pueden llevar más de uno, porque sabemos que se pueden ensuciar. Uh, además, si no, no tienen, tan, nosotros también les podemos proveer una máscara para todos los estudiantes y el personal. Um, una cosa importante antes de prepara, prepararlos para ir al regreso, que asegúrense que su hijo se, se siente bien. Cuando su hijo llegue a la escuela, se le van a pedir que ellos van a responder a unas preguntas, pero el estudiante no puede contestar esto. Ustedes como padre lo pueden decir. Antes de entrar, les vamos a pedir que... Uh, empiezan a un pase diario. Y entonces, para hacer eso, es importante tener un portal de padres para poder tener um, esta cuenta para poder hacerlo. Nosotros estamos aquí para apoyarlos, para los que ya lo han hecho ya varios tiempos, ya, ya saben cómo hacer eso. Entonces, pero si no, pueden llamarnos acá en la oficina um, y les podemos explicar cómo hacer, porque es importante tener este código que se llama Q, um, QR para, para poder um, hacer algo en una manera más rápida. And I put in the chat um, the website, which is dailypass.lausd.net. And you're going to want to get familiar with that um, pass um, where you can create that QR code for your child. Yeah, entonces, ya empezó a poner uh, cómo hacer uh, el enlace para cómo hacer el pase diario. And then the other really important thing to know, which is which is really like the most critical thing, is that we are going to um, requiring that all students and all employees have a negative baseline test before they start school. So that we're all starting knowing that we're all free and clear of COVID-19. So that baseline test is within 14 day period of um, starting school. Um, so this whole week, you could have been going to get your baseline test through any of the district sites. Um, to make it easy, we will have COVID testing here tomorrow. Um, they will be here on our campus tomorrow from 8 a.m. until um, 2.30, and they will take their last um, slots at 2.15. You don't need to make an appointment. You can just come right to our school. They will be located um, near our kindergarten entrance area. So we call it our kindergarten labyrinth. It's in the front of the school off of Mitchell Terena Street. Um, so that's where you can walk up or you can park and walk there. And we'll be um, there to check you in, and then you, you, your child, you and your child will come in, and um, your child will have their baseline COVID test. If you can't come tomorrow, they will also be on campus next Friday, August 13th, at the same time. Y importante un recordatorio que todos los estudiantes necesitan una prueba de COVID de referencia para comenzar la escuela. Y esto se requiere para que asegurar que todos, no solamente los estudiantes, pero todo el personal esté um, 
no esté expuesto al COVID. Entonces, uh, tiene que hacer esto 14 días antes de la escuela. Este viernes vamos a tener estos, um, estas pruebas de referencia acá en la escuela Michotorena. Eh, cerca está en la calle de Michotorena, cerca donde entran los estudiantes de kinder, que le, le llamamos el laberinto, y va a haber allí donde pueden tomar el examen de COVID. Si no pueden, este viernes de 8 a 2.15, pueden ir el 13, que el 13 de agosto, el, el próximo viernes, de 8 a 2.15. También les vamos a enseñar otras oportunidades. Si no pueden, este viernes o el próximo viernes, hay otros lugares, sitios um, a cruzar el distrito donde pueden hacer este, este examen de COVID. And there's also other opportunities because we know that Fridays may not be the best time. So you can do an appointment test through any of these other LAUSD district sites um, between August 2nd through August 14th. Um, and they will be open from 7.15 to 3.15. And then on certain times they have extended hours on Wednesdays um, and Saturdays. And so those are the um, areas that you can see. So for local district central, which is where our school is located, there's Carver Middle School and there's Evans Adult School. Um, you may live in different parts of our city um, and you may commute your child to our school. So you can see the other um, locations around our district. And so for these ones, you do require to make a, an appointment. So we have a QR code down there at the bottom that you can just scan right now with your phone, um, or you can go to dailypass.lausd.net to make the appointment. Yeah. Entonces, como les mencioné, hay diferentes áreas a cruzar del distrito donde pueden tomar esta prueba de COVID, pero esas sí requieren una cita. Uh, van a ver allí un código de Q, um, QR donde ustedes pueden ver, um, le van a enviar directamente para que puedan hacer esa cita uh, para nuestra, nuestro distrito local central donde um, está localizado nuestra escuela. Carver Middle School y Evans Adult School son las escuelas más cerca donde pueden ir, pero sabemos que hay algunos que vienen de diferentes áreas. Ahí está en la lista de, de las diferentes escuelas. Y el, el, horario, yeah, y el horario es, um, vemos allí que hay algunas fechas para los sábados y algunos ya tarde, más tarde en, la, en el, los miércoles. And if you are a new family and you don't have a parent portal yet, here's where you make the, um, how you um, register. You're going to go to parent portal lausd.net and you're going to create your account and then you're going to link your child to your account that's how you start um, creating the daily pass for your child that's how you schedule the COVID tests um, you will need a parent pin and that's something that you will get from our office so you'll want to call our office tomorrow um, 7 30 a.m we open so that you can get your parent pin so that you can register for your parent portal Again, it's parentportal.lausd.net, and I'll put it in the chat. Importante saber que um, para nosotros, nos sabemos que um, tal vez es, ya tiene mucha familia, están familiarizados ya con el programa del uh, portal de padres, pero para hacer esta cita sí necesitan un portal de padres. Entonces, si no, para hacer eso necesitan un código especial de para los padres y un código de los estudiantes. Si necesiten alguna ayuda, por favor, llama, llámanos mañana um, a las siete y media y estamos para ayudarles para que puedan uh, hacer un examen de referencia en nuestra escuela o en otra escuela. Um, aún para recordatorio, no necesitan cita para mañana en los exámenes, pero sí van a necesitar el portal de padres. So I see in the chat, um, We can get you your parent pin. Um, for most of our new students, the parent pins have come. For a few new students and kindergarten students, the parent pins haven't been generated yet. But call our office so that we can get you the parent pin so you can register for the parent portal. Um, in terms of the COVID testing that's going to take place tomorrow, you don't need to have a parent portal yet. You don't need to create a daily pass. Um, you'll come walk to our site. We'll ask you guys the health questions, and then you'll come in and get your test. Um, but you will want to do that parent portal so that by August 16th, you have that ready so you can generate a pass. Um, kids can always come to school um, at the gate and we'll ask the questions, but it's much easier if the parents create the um, QR code with the kids and then you can print the QR code or you can have it on your device. That's much easier. 
Entonces la pregunta era, ¿qué es si mañana necesitamos tener el portal de padre con los códigos? Mañana pueden venir, um, no necesitan, pero sí vamos a ayudarles a crear esa cuenta. Sabemos que algunos estudiantes de kinder todavía no tienen el código para los padres, pero es um, importante saber que ahí estamos para apoyarles para hacer el portal de padres. Um, y aún, um, uh, a ver, pienso que eso es todo y sé que hay una pregunta en el, la caja de chat. Ahorita le vamos a, a poner um, el, el enlace para, um, para, los tour, para, la, para venir a ver a nuestra escuela. So I will put, I just saw the chat and I will make sure I, I will be adding the link to the school tours. Yeah, so um, the school tours are for new kindergarten families and for first grade families, um, because a lot of our first grade families stayed virtual last year and um, have not seen our campus, or if you're a new family altogether. Um, so it's for those groups and we'll put it in. It, it's a um, sign up genius. So we'll put a link in the chat and you can go to the sign up genius and you can get us scheduled for a tour. Okay, and I'm putting dropping that in. Um, Um, so these are just some simple things to help your child and you get ready, right? Get that baseline test, um, have them start practicing wearing a mask around, um, going out and about maybe, or in, even in home, because um, students are not often used to wearing masks inside for a while because it's been summer. Um, practice washing the hands, remember singing like the birthday song, um, you know, for 15 to 20 seconds and remember, Um, social distancing, we are still hoping to be able to support social distancing. It's not a requirement now um, for schools, and, um, but we will do it as much as feasible and possible. So when we're outside, when we're in lines, we're going to still continue to, to remember to social distance. So those are some things to help your child get ready. ¿Cómo pueden preparar a, a su estudiante para, para llegar, regres, regresar a la escuela? Um, obtenga su prueba de referencia que hablamos de covid Practica usando esta mascarilla. Sabemos que muchos de nuestros estudiantes han estado en casa um, y tal vez no han estado um, usando la mascarilla. Entonces, por favor, practiquen eso. Uh, practiquen también lavándose las manos con frecuencia porque es importante que todos tenemos esa, um, ese protocolo de seguridad. Y también practique el distanciamiento social. Sabemos que ahora no es un requisito Exactamente del Departamento de Salud, pero nosotros sí que donde podemos hacerlo, estamos tratando de distanciar socialmente, especialmente cuando están afuera, jugando o comiendo. Y esas son algunas cosas para ayudarlos a empezar a practicar, practicando um, para estar listo para la escuela. And then for those of you that are considering the um, virtual model, which is through the City of Angels, which is an independent studies school through LAUSD, um, this is how you would um, enroll or apply. The first step is that you um, register. Um, you can either do that through that parent portal or the simpler easy way is to call this um, City of Angels family hotline at 213-443-1300. Um, next step is you'll download um, a digital copy of the enrollment packet so that you can complete it. And it's at that website there. And then the um, principal and the staff from the City of Angels will schedule a meeting, um, most likely virtual, um, where it's like an intake so that the City of Angels teacher can discuss the independent study and make sure that it's the right placement. And then lastly, the City of Angels will go over the agreement with the family and the student and they will officially be enrolled in the program. Importante, um, no tenemos este, esta, esta, um, uh, este, esta información exactamente escrito en español, pero se los voy a traducir. Si quieren, están interesados en continuar con la instrucción virtual, entonces ten, tenemos un número de, de, para um, el grupo, en la escuela que se llama uh, City of Angels, que es parte del distrito que va a ofrecer nuestra instrucción totalmente virtual. Y ahí está el número 213-443-1300. Y aún también ya que hablan, pueden hablar, les ayudan y van a tener que llenar una aplicación a través um, del de enlace que vemos ahí. Lo, también lo puse en la caja de chat. And we, we went over this um, at our um, town hall last week, but this program, um, If you're choosing this program, it's important to know that these are different teachers. So the child would not be having um, their online three hour class with our teachers from Rachel Serena. These would be teachers from the City of Angels. 
um, you can um, enter back to our program and we save a spot for your child. Um, and the other thing that's important to know is that they're not doing um, any type of specialized um, programs like magnet or dual language. So this wouldn't be a bilingual program. So those are just some important things to know about the independent study virtual program option. Um, acerca de esta opción de continuar eh, exactamente virtualmente, eh, vamos a, a hacer un recordatorio, ya sé que hablamos de esto antes, aún no va a ser nuestros maestros de Micho Torena, que serían los maestros de su alumno, um, va a ser maestros del distrito um, y va a ser parte del personal de, de la escuela serie de Angels. También sabemos que aquí si deciden continuar con esa instrucción, um, en la escuela no van a ofrecer los que están en programa dual no van a continuar de ofrecer instrucción en, en español. Solamente es la, la instrucción en inglés. Pero no se preocupen, vamos a guardar su espacio acá, en su lugar en la escuela. Y si deciden o cuando deciden re regresar, aquí tienen su, su lugar ya para, para su alumno. Um, otra cosa es, um, es saber que aún um, cualquier cosa que necesitan, uh, el número está en el... Um, la caja de chat para nuestra escuela y aún el número de los que están considerando City of Angels, ahí también está. And for students with disabilities, um, students who have an individualized education plan, the, um, the process is the same, except that um, the school of attendance, which would be us, Mitchell Terena, we would schedule an IEP meeting um, with family and with the City of Angels um, uh, principal to make sure that the program is appropriate for the student with disabilities to make sure that all their services would be able to be supported. So that's the only uh, variation. Um, it is available and open to students with disabilities. Um, it's just a matter of doing one more step to make sure that we have all of the things in place to support the student. Yeah. Y aún esto está um, disponible para los, nuestros estudiantes um, con el, en el educación especial, pero Una cosa que nosotros para asegurar que el programa sea um, uh, beneficioso para su hijo, y entonces nosotros también tenemos que hacer una junta de IEP para tener, um, hablar con no solamente el director, la directora de nuestra escuela, pero el director de la otra escuela para asegurar si este programa uh, podemos um, tener todo lo que necesita el estudiante para que ellos sa saquen éxito. All right, next. slide is discussing all of the things that we're going to do for wellness and safety. Um, we know that coming back to school isn't just about reading, writing, and math. It's also about connecting to friends and, and making sure that we're also feeling safe and connected and heard. So these are some things um, that we're going to do for wellness and safety and health. Um, LA Unified does continue to have the highest safety standards in the nation. Um, for all of the districts, including upgraded air filtration systems that have MERV 13 air filters that run um, all the time, um, required masking, and we have that robust testing program where the kids will be tested weekly and so will the staff. Entonces, es importante saber que nosotros reconocemos que estamos tomando medidas para asegurar la, la seguridad de, de nuestros estudiantes, pero también el bienestar. Sabemos que el distrito tiene muchos sistemas y apuestos de filtración de aire mejorados uh, y sus reglamentos de la mascarilla y tenemos un programa de, de pruebas de COVID. Entonces ya tenemos esas cosas, pero vamos a dar un poquito más de información. So I've mentioned this before, but we really want to make sure that when we re-enter students that we're thinking about care and a care entry instead of just a re-entry. And so these are some things that we do to support wellness as we have Mindful Monday and Gratitude Tuesday, Wellness Wednesday, Thoughtful Thursday, and Fun Fridays. Um, and some other things that we do, um, as I mentioned, the responsive classroom pedagogy that we follow here as a whole school, which brings morning meeting where the kids will come in, they will have greetings, they will sit in circle, um, there will be activities that they do together. So the first like 20, 25 minutes of all classes is like a morning meeting. Um, that's how we start our day. Um, we also have um, 12 tools that help us just in life. Our adults use them, our students use them. Um, you'll see a slide in a minute with what our 12 tools are. I know that, um, that you'll get a chance to get introduced to them if you go to our social. 
Um, and we also do fund for a psychiatric social worker two days a week. So that is a counselor that can support our students in class, um, can have um, opportunities to check in with students privately, to connect families with outside resources. Um, so those are all the things that we, we are con considering continually doing. And we know that right now coming back from a pandemic with a lot of trauma, we wanna make sure that we, we wrap everybody in care. Importante que para nosotros saber que cada día tenemos realmente en cuenta la, la salud mental y emocional de nuestros alumnos. Entonces, cada día de la, sena, de la semana tenemos un día dedicado para, por ejemplo, el lunes, lunes consciente, realmente pensando, tomando ese momento para ser presente, estar presente en el momento. Um, el, los martes es un el martes de gratitud miércoles donde realmente nos preocupamos en nuestra salud um, emocional, uh, físico, social, espiritual. Um, al, el jueves de aún donde estamos pensando en alguien más y siendo algo, algo, algo bueno para alguien más. Y los viernes divertidos. Um, tomando en cuenta que para nuestros estudiantes no solamente desde que ellos empiecen con nosotros, Estamos, tenemos una junta cada mañana y eso sería en sus propias eh, clases donde los estudiantes tienen la habilidad de hablar, de cómo se sienten, cómo dan y tomar tiempo. También tenemos herramientas donde realmente estas son estrategias para ayudar a sus hijos a centrarse y tener éxito. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo donde, donde les enseñamos estas herramientas que nosotros tenemos como respirar, tomar, eh, tomar su tiempo. Um, realmente para ayudar a los estudiantes um, emocionalmente también. Y también tenemos una trabajadora social um, psiquiátrica que aquí está para conectar a las familias con uh, recursos externos y ayudar es especialmente todo importante porque hemos es, todos um, ten, uh, hemos um, vivido durante una pandemia donde tal vez hay mucha trauma, muchos problemas y emocionales que realmente queremos ayudar a cada uno. All right, and so these are those tools I was talking about, tools that help us for life, for the journey, for moments when our big feelings get to us. And these are for students and for adults, for everybody. Um, they're breathing, the quiet, safe place, listening, empathy, personal space, using our words, letting things go in the garbage can, taking some time for ourselves, um, away from others maybe. Um, Please and thank you, apology and forgiveness, patience and courage. Um, maybe you've seen in society these days, these are tools that I think everybody could use, even our politicians and our presidents, teachers, everybody. So we hope that we model them for your children and they're going to go home and they're going to model them for you and then you can start using them. Entonces, era, estas herramientas tan importante, eso de respirar, de tomar un tiempo para... Uh, a tener su, un, pensar en un lugar tranquilo y seguro, a realmente te, escuchar, tener empatía, tener un espacio personal. Todos estos son herramientas realmente para, de, no solamente para los estudiantes, pero por vida podamos, podemos usar, usar esto y vamos a hablar más uh, sobre esto durante el año. Uh, también les quiero mencionar que veo algunas preguntas. Vamos a contestar las preguntas al último. So no se preocupen si no tienen su respuesta ahora. Mucho de nuestra presentación vamos a, a repasar eso. So I see a lot of questions in our chat. Um, if we don't answer, we will be answering uh, many of the questions at the end of our session, but some of them will be just answered along the way. <laughs> so be patient with us. And if and not, I promise we will have an opportunity to answer all. We're, uh, we're both taking turns um, when someone's, when she's talking, I'm looking at the chat and answering when I can and vice versa. So we hope to answer all your questions, but we'll do a Q&A at the end. Um, so we wanted to show you what the daily pass looks like for those of you that are new. Um, so again, before your child arrives to school, complete that daily pass. Um, a good pro tip to know is that you can't do it the night before. It may, it may sound great, you're sitting in bed and it's 11.39 and you're like, oh, I'm tired, but I'm gonna make this pass and it's gonna be ready. You can't make it 11.39 the night before because that's a pass for that day. Um, so you have to make a new one every day. So wait till the morning. Um, it's pretty fast to do it really quickly. You answer a couple questions and it comes up. You can screenshot it so you don't need to leave the website open and then it screenshots it and then you have that. You can also do it on a computer and print it and hand it to your child. So a lot of pro tips there to make it easy and fast. Um, if technology is not your thing, you, your child and you can come to the gate and answer them 
um, verbally. Um, it's daily pass at LUSD.net and it's pretty easy to do. Yeah. Importante saber y familiarizarnos todos con el pase diario. Antes de llegar a la escuela, tiene que completar este pase diario um, uh, o contestar las preguntas que tenemos allá, pero realmente es importante tener eso. Ya sabemos que mañana están apurados, entonces desafortunadamente no lo pueden hacer la noche anterior porque es un pase diario. Entonces, si lo, lo hacen, la, es para la, el, la noche de, um, en, y queremos ser para el día en que el estudiante está allí y tiene que ser un, um, un padre o madre que, que conteste a las preguntas, un adulto, uh, no puede ser el estudiante. Um, ya cuando llegan a la secundaria, los estudiantes pueden contestar eso, pero en, para los estudiantes en, um, de esta edad tiene que ser um, un adulto que conteste las preguntas. Thank you. Um, so this is kind of what it looks like when a student checks in. Um, right, we're going to have um, multiple entrances at our school. We're going to go over those entrance points and where they all are in a minute. We even have a map, but we'll have multiple entrance points where we will do the health check every day before entering school. Um, our office staff, all of our employees will also do this at our employee gate. Um, so we all do the check in. Um, parents, if you are a visitor on campus, you will have to do the same thing. You will have to have the check in. Um, and there's a poster that will be there, just like this picture. Um, so this is basically kind of what the entrances will look like. It'll look slightly different than pre-pandemic. Um, there will be, you know, a, a table there. There will be hand sanitizer. There will be a big poster. Um, and so we will greet you very happily at the door with our masks on and we'll answer these questions or we'll scan with our little happy scanner um, the QR codes. Entonces aquí vemos un ejemplo de cuando estudiantes llegan a, a la escuela. Tenemos diferentes estaciones donde van a, a venir los estudiantes y sabemos vamos a estar allí esperándolos. Tienen allí eh, las preguntas que tienen que contestar. Si han ido a la oficina principal, saben que les hacemos algunas preguntas. Los adultos tienen que contestarlos para los estudiantes. También nosotros como personal tenemos que hacer eso. Um, y um, aún sabiendo tener este control de salud diario, va a asegurar que todos eh, um, se sienten bien y estén listos para entrar a la escuela. Um, so we've mentioned um, another safety measure is that we really will be focusing on proper hand hygiene um, since now our students will be able to play recess with materials. Um, when we came back in spring, the students couldn't use balls, they couldn't use jump ropes, they couldn't play with a lot of materials. So now they will be playing with those materials and paired. So we will be making sure that we have routine hand hygiene where students will be reminded to wash their hands frequently, especially after recess. And then we have hand sanitizer stations um, at all the entrances, hand sanitizer stations at um, really high touch areas like going up and down our stairs in the classrooms. Every teacher has, um, has a hand sanitizer in our office. So this is all part of our safety measures. Entonces aquí sabemos que es importante nosotros desinfectar las manos y en cada salón van a poder um, tener desinfectante de manos y en toda la escuela tenemos ahí, vemos ahí un ejemplo uh, que en, en muchos diferentes áreas de nuestra escuela. Es importante recordar a los estudiantes la, que se laven las manos y usen desinfectante de manos, especialmente cuando están afuera jugando. Sabemos que este año es diferente, um, van a poder los niños a jugar con y es importante um, estar ellos listos y tener las manos limpias. So next, we wanted to briefly give you what the school schedules are like. So our start times and our end times, the recesses and lunches, so that you are familiar with that. If you're just joining us, all of this information was provided to you in a digital copy. Um, and it also was sent home yesterday, hard copy. So look for it in the mail. Um, we're also recording this. So if you've missed it, it's coming in. Um, a lot of this information you already may have. Yeah, entonces, lo que vamos a repasar, los horarios. Sabemos que ya mandamos esta información um, a través de las cartas. Entonces, ese es un repaso, pero para algunos tal vez es nueva información. So. Um, el horario, entonces, um, para los estudiantes es de 8 a 2.23, los lunes, miércoles, um, jueves y viernes. Entonces, salen a las 2.23. Pero los martes y salen a la 1.23. Y eso es porque los estudiantes, los maestros están participando en profe desarrollo profesional. 
entonces estén juntas. Los estudiantes del programa PELS, um, ellos entran a las nueve y salen a la una y media y eso es lunes a viernes. Uh, también por, la, por motivo de seguridad, cambiamos los horarios para asegurar que podemos tener distanciamiento social um, con, um, afuera cuando estén los estudiantes uh, comiendo afuera. Entonces, ahí están las horas de recreo y la hora de comer para los diferentes grupos. Um, el kinder de transición o TK, kinder primero, segundo, segundo y tercero comen juntos, van al recreo y comen juntos y los de cuarto y quinto también. So this is the daily schedule for our um, transitional kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, we start school every day at 8 a.m. and school gets out at 2.23. Um, so for kinder families, it is full day kinder. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we get out at 2.23. On Tuesdays, every Tuesday for the rest of the year, we will get out one hour earlier at 1.23. So make sure you put a, a reminder in your phone, make sure that if you have um, daycare picking up, that they know that on Tuesdays we get out one hour earlier. And this is so our teachers can plan together. They can have professional development with us um, and work on our goals for the year. Um, we do have a special education preschool program with um, preschool for all learners or PALS for short. And that program, it runs every day, 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And then this is our recess and lunch schedule. As you can see, our TK kinders and first graders will have recess to, um, together, um, but in separate parts of the campus. And um, recess for them is at 10.15 to 10.35. It's 20 minutes um, where they can have snack, use the restroom, play. And then lunch um, is a 40 minute lunch and they get about 20 minutes to eat and 20 minutes to play. And then that's the same for second and third and fourth and fifth respectively. And you can see their times. Um, and we've adjusted this a bit um, and added three of three. Um, in the past, we only had two, but we, um, this is something that we're doing as a safety measure to ensure um, some social distancing, some safety, um, because when students eat, their masks are off. So these are some things that we've had to adjust to make sure that we feel that our campus is as safe as possible. Um, for our families who are part of our dual language English Spanish program, um, where we will be continuing to offer that program where students receive instruction in both English and the target language of Spanish. Um, many of our classes are um, partner model, meaning that they have an English teacher and a Spanish teacher and that the, um, teach the students switch. And so with that, um, we are going to follow what um, our schools did in the spring for safety. Instead of switching um, halfway through the day, which it used to be pre-pandemic, we're still gonna continue to switch one week on, one week off. So they will start one week with one teacher, maybe the Spanish teacher, and then the other week they'll have the English teacher. And this allows us to be able to properly sanitize and clean the room, make sure that any shared, uh, shared materials are being cleaned. Um, and so this is something that we're continuing to do for safety. Yeah, entonces, importante para nuestro programa de dual, idioma y dual, Um, es importante que los estudiantes, saber que los estudiantes van a recibir su instrucción en inglés y en español, pero para tomar otro, otra medida de seguridad, los estudiantes van a cambiar um, cada semana. Entonces, en vez de cambiar todos los días, van a cambiar cada semana para dar la oportunidad de tener una uh, manera de limpieza mejor. Um, aún sabemos que los estudiantes van a empezar con su maestro. Um, y tal vez van a tener un, la primera semana en inglés, la segunda semana en español. Y es yeah, una medida de seguridad por, por, para asegurar que los estudiantes estén um, más seguros. We also have um, some self-contained um, dual language classrooms, meaning that they have one teacher who does both. Um, so um, our program has grown throughout the years and we were able to bring on um, an extra class. So we have a self-contained first grade, a self-contained second grade. Um, we have a self-contained uh, fourth, a self-contained fifth, and a self-contained four or five combo. Um, so we do have some students that are participating um, with a self-contained teacher and others that are in a partner. And you, um, the letter that we sent home yesterday that you should be receiving soon has who your teacher is and what program they're assigned to. Entonces, um, nuestro programa no solamente tiene um, uh, un programa de, de dos maestros, también tenemos um, maestros que enseñan 
un maestro que enseña el español y el, el inglés. Entonces, en, esa, en ese programa, um, como nuestro programa ha crecido, tenemos la oportunidad a veces de tener dos maestros y a veces solamente tenemos uno. Para esos estudiantes, ellos van a recibir el aprendizaje en inglés y en español diarios. Um, so now we're going to go over the arrivals and, and entrances and those um, dismissal and exits for you so that you can know exactly where to go and that you don't feel lost and scared on the first day as a parent. Where do I go? Um, so we do have a really easy way um, to have your child get to school so that you don't have to deal with the sort of crazy parking that occurs in Mitchell Terrena because we are in a neighborhood and um, we don't have a lot of parking around here. Sunset can be busy. Um, so we do have a car valet drop off. It's located in the very front of the school on Mitchell Terrena Street. You'll see it with the coned area. Um, you'll drive right into the coned area and our amazing parent volunteers. Walter, if you're here, I think I saw you. We have amazing parents that volunteer every year to do this. They wear funny hats. They're very lovely and kind. Um, they open your child's door and we scan the paper right there in the car. And then your child is escorted to our gate and they come into their um, waiting area with their um, friends. Um, so we encourage even kindergarten, they can learn to do this really well. Um, we see less crying sometimes when people come in the car, they just sort of simply say goodbye and that's it. Um, you can use the car valet drop off and you can do that as early as 7.30. Um, plan to arrive a little early because of, you know, driving times with traffic around town. So that's one way. Um, we also have walk up so you can walk up with your child to the gate and we have uh, three different gates um, that parents can accompany to the gate. Um, and then once you're at the gate, we'll check your child in with the daily health questions and then they'll be escorted by our staff to one of the waiting areas. And then um, when should we do this? So. In spring, many of you returned. We had about 86% of you come back in spring. Um, and we had, um, the district had staggered start times. The district is not doing staggered start times. School is starting at 8 a.m. for everybody. So we thought, how could we make this easier and safer for everybody? So we thought, well, we have between 7.30 and 8 when families can start coming. And why don't we stagger that? So if you can see here, um, 7.30 to 7.45, third through fifth grade um, families can come. 740 to 755, our TK through second grade families can come. And if you're interested, we do have a morning program where you can drop off your child at 630 to 715. We'll talk about how to enroll in that in a minute. Um, and so those are the arrival times. We know that some of you may have multiple kids in multiple grades and you're saying, Miss Sacalarian, which one do I do? Pick the one that's most convenient for you if you have multiple students and multiple grades. Entonces acá, y no sé, a ver si están en español también. Oh, no. oh, oh, no, perdón. Um, um, entonces, para dejar a nuestros estudiantes, podemos tener um, diferentes maneras. Si quieren, vi, vienen por, en el carro, entonces los estudiantes tenemos muy, unos voluntarios fantásticos que vienen a, a ayudarnos y ayudar a sacar a los estudiantes del, del carro y ellos necesitan tener su código QR listos y entonces cuando ellos ya están listos los mandamos a, a la área donde van directamente a, 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 las, a, a los lugares de esperar. Um, sabemos que es importante y a, a planeen llegar un poquito temprano para evitar esas, ese tráfico en la mañana. Um, Aún también pueden traer sus estudiantes, eh, sus hijos, en, uh, caminando a la escuela. Y, y hay diferentes uh, maneras y diferentes entradas donde vamos a hablar. Y vamos a tener allí, van a hacer el chequeo de, de salud y lo llevamos a las áreas de, de espera. Um, ¿Cuándo es que pueden hacer esto? Para, sabemos que um, el, año, el año pasado, cuando te, empezamos la escuela, tuvimos, um, cuando terminamos el, la escuela, teníamos diferentes horarios para cada diferente grado. Sabemos que el distrito ha dicho que no es necesario, pero para nosotros, para tratar de evitar que hay tanta, tanta gente en, en, um, aún, uh, en, en, todos llegando a la misma hora, queremos decir que uno, primero hay un programa donde pueden uh, dejar a sus estudiantes empezando a las seis, seis y media. Y vamos a hablar de cómo pueden inscribirlo. A las siete y media, um, a 7.45, los de tercero y quinto, los, a los de 7.40, 7.55, los de 
um, kinder de transición y segundo grado, pero sabemos que um, uh, tal vez tienen hijos en diferentes grados, ¿cuál, cuál horario van a fijarse? puede ser el que sea más conveniente para ustedes. Aún la razón por hacer esto es queremos saber toda la instrucción para todos empiezan a las 8, pero estamos tratando de evitar que todos empiecen a la misma hora. So these are the various entrance gates that are around our campus. So we have this wonky uh, map. We hope that you can see it. Um, Mitchell Terena Street is the front of the school and we have two entrances at the front of the school. And one is just for kindergarten because we know that it's a very big year for kindergartners and seeing all the big kids, it could be a little overwhelming. Um, so we have them come just by themselves. So they have a special entrance, which is the kindergarten labyrinth area. Um, that's the same area that they may come to tomorrow to get their COVID test. Um, and they'll get to meet that, uh, see that opportunity in space also if you do the tour. Um, so kindergarten labyrinth is in the front of the school. And then we have Hamilton Street entrance also on the front of the school, which is at the um, intersection of Hamilton and Mitchell Terena. And then we have the Golden Gate entrance on the back side of the school on Golden Gate um, Avenue. And so for kindergarten, we really have one assigned for you. All the other ages and grades, first through fifth, you can choose which gate works best. So you can go to the Golden Gate or you can go to the Hamilton Street Gate. And then if your child is gonna participate in the Ready, Set, Go morning program, The only gate that will be open at 6.30 a.m. is Golden Gate because the program is over on that side of the campus. Entonces, hay diferentes entradas que tenemos. Um, eh, um, acá vamos a ver un mapa uh, de la escuela. Tenemos la calle aquí de Micho Torena, la calle acá de, que se llama Golden Gate. Um, y realmente enfrente de la escuela, en Micho Torema, Terena, hay dos um, entradas. El que llamamos Laberinto, que es para los, que, para los de kinder que van a entrar por allá. Y tenemos la otra entrada que se llama Hamilton, porque vamos a ver un momentito que hay una parada allí con la calle que dice Hamilton, por eso es la entrada. Y eso es para los, um, puede ser de los de primero a quinto, tienen esta opción o pueden entrar por la entrada por la calle Golden Gate. Y como decimos para los de kinder, ellos van a entrar por la, esta, la entrada que está en la, la, el laberinto. Pero los, los otros estudiantes pueden escoger cualquier que sea más conveniente para ustedes. Si participan en el programa Ready, Set, Go, que empieza a las seis y media, tienen que entrar por la entrada de Golden Gate. Thank you. Um, the next slide is going to show you what they actually look like. So if you're new to our school, this is kind of what they look like. Um, the front of the school for the labyrinth, you'll see a gate. Um, it has a, a, a purple painted um, labyrinth, and that is where our kindergarten students exit, um, I mean, enter. And then Hamilton, you'll see, is the stop sign right in front of school between Hamilton and Mitchell Terena. Yeah, but Josie's taking her bag walking around with me. Oops. And then Golden Gate is the back of the school, and we have a beautiful mural um, with a uh, welcome in multiple languages. It's a rainbow mural, and it's on the Golden Gate side. So those are what they look like. Para los que quieren ver cómo, cómo son las áreas, el laberinto es porque ahí vemos aquí un laberinto y sabemos que es en la calle de Micho Torena. También aquí donde vemos la parada, vemos que ahí dice la palabra Hamilton y por eso le llamamos esta entrada Hamilton, que está cerquita a la, um, a la, a la entrada principal de la escuela. Las dos como quedan en Micho Torena. Y acá tenemos la entrada atrás de la escuela en la calle Golden Gate donde allí tenemos un um, mural donde, de arco iris que dice bienvenido en diferentes idiomas. Y allí es donde vamos a, es la otra entrada. Uh, si van a participar en el programa de Ready, Set, Go o si quieren decidir cómo es la opción. And so we wanted to give you a brief picture walk of what the waiting area for kindergarten looks like. So once they are checked in at our labyrinth gate, then uh, they will be escorted um, to the supervision area. Um, so they just walk a few steps and they enter our lunch area, our covered lunch area. And that's where the students will sit with their class. Um, and we also do, um, we are able to social distance them there, which is great. They'll have a color that connects to their class um, and then they will wait there until their teacher picks them up. So here's an example from last year. These were our teachers last year. They had a color for their name, for their teacher's name, and that is where they waited. So this is kind of what our kindergarten area looks like. Mm 
for waiting. Yeah, aquí tenemos las fotos de donde van a esperar los estudiantes de kinder. Entonces ellos entran por donde está el laberinto y les, les en, en, um, acá es donde van a esperar. Aquí vemos un ejemplo de donde cada, cada niño o estudiante de una clase está designado un color y ellos se sientan en la área y ven que hay distanciamiento social para, asegurando que los niños no estén demasiado sentados demasiado cerca. Eso es una manera de que vamos, que vamos a continuar. Um, este año tenemos diferentes maestros, pero el procedimiento es igual. And for our first through fifth grade students, they will enter um, either the um, Hamilton gate or the Golden Gate, and then they will walk themselves or es be escorted if they're younger to our lower playground waiting area where they will have a lineup for their class. Um, and this is where they will wait for their teacher to pick them up. Yeah. Entonces aquí vemos las fotos donde los estudiantes de primero o quinto grado van a esperar a, a, a su maestro. Vamos a decir si llega a las siete y media, no importa si es en la entrada en frente de la escuela, que sería Michotorena, um, Hamilton, o atrás en Golden Gate. Y los vamos a encaminar, si son los estudiantes menores, eh, a este patio donde ellos van a esperar a su maestro. Y ahí es donde la, ahí es la área. And again, for exiting, um, we have different exit gates um, for each grade, as this helps sort of keep them socially distanced as they exit. Um, because when we enter, we kind of have a bit of a staggered entrance, but for dismissal, everybody dismisses at 223. So this is a way to help us be safer and sort of have different exits. So our kindergarten, um, they have their own building. And so they will just exit the big double doors um, on their building. It's right next to the labyrinth. You just walk a little bit up Mitchell Traina Street, up the hill, you'll see the big double doors um, on Mitchell Traina Street and that's where our kindergarten students will exit. And then our first, second and third grade students, they will enter on that same side of the school, the front of the school where all the grass is. We have two double doors by our auditorium and they will exit there. Um, and then our fourth and fifth grade students, and if they're in afternoon childcare, um, they will exit the Golden Gate exit. Ahora vemos aquí un el mapa de la escuela y vemos que hay, y te vamos a contestar si um, vamos a ver dónde es que van a salir nuestros, nuestros estudiantes. Sabemos, la, le dimos las opciones para los de, las entradas, para las salidas, para tratar de no tener demasiados estudiantes cerca. Los de estudiantes de kinder, ellos van a salir de el, del edificio de kinder. Entonces, ahí hay dos puertas y van a sali salir directamente del salón de clase a las puertas aquí, hay, um, al, al pasto al, um, enfrente de la escuela y ahí es donde van a salir los estudiantes. Los de primero, segundo y tercero van a salir en uh, el, este edificio y van a salir en la calle Michotorena. Hay dos puertas cerca del auditorio. Los de cuarto y quinto y los que van a salir en programa um, de cuidado de niños después de la escuela, ellos van a salir en la calle Golden Gate. Ahorita vamos a, vamos a contestar qué pasa si tienen más de un alumno. I see the question. Thank you for being patient. Yes, if you have more than one child, what do you do? <laughs> if you have more than one child, we will, um, we will ask that your older child walk to the exit area where the younger child will be and they will exit that. For example, if you have a fourth grader and a second grader, your fourth grade child will walk over to the area where the second graders are exiting and they'll meet up with their sibling and they'll exit that area. So please pick up both your children at the exit that is the youngest student. Um, that way the younger student isn't walking around campus trying to find their older sibling. The younger student will just wait there and the older student will come. Um, for those students who are attending daycare, our teachers will, once they dismiss the students to the exit, um, students who are going home with parents or caretakers, um, after that, they will walk the other students to the middle yard where all of our daycare programs will come. And we're going to go over the daycare programs in a minute, but all the daycare providers will be in the middle yard and they will be there waiting for their students to come. Yeah. Importante saber cuando eso, según si tienen más de un alumno, Vamos a decir qué es lo que van a hacer para um, la salida. Los estudiantes mayores van a ir a manos en los, en los otros grados menores. Entonces, por ejemplo, si tiene un, um, un hijo en cuarto grado, ellos van a, encaminar, van a caminar hacia su um, hermano en primer grado y van a salir 
en la salida que corresponde con los estudiantes menores. Entonces, esa razón, no queremos que los de kinder se ve buscando uno de quinto, ellos van a, o los de primero, estén caminando. Entonces, queremos que los estudiantes mayores vayan a, a, con los, sus hermanos en el otro lado para que puedan recogerlos allí. Um, y los estudiantes que participen en programas después de la escuela, los maestros después de encaminar a los niños a las salidas, los van a llevar en el patio y allí es donde van a encontrar el programa de, de um, cuidado de niños que vamos a hablar sobre eso. So there we are, the families with students in multiple grades. Again, your older student will accompany their younger one at the youngest exit. Um, walking home. Families can have children walk home if they are second through fifth grade students only. Um, and if you choose to have your child walk home, maybe you live really close by or walk to school, um, please let us know, let your teacher know so that we can make sure that we know that there won't be somebody picking them up and you know, we'll make sure that they safely exit the school. Um, if you have a reason that you need to pick up your child early, maybe you have a dentist or a doctor's appointment, um, please try to schedule those in the afternoons because the bulk of the um, academic learning occurs in the morning. The afternoons, we tend to have the extras. Um, so try to schedule those in the afternoon. But if you do need to pick up your child early, you're going to call our main office and let us know so that your child can be escorted to our main entrance on Mitchell Train Street where the big stairs are. Mm -hmm. Oops. Ok, entonces para los de familias con, estu con estudiantes en diferentes grados, ya explicamos que los estudiantes mayores van a ir e en caminar um, con los estudiantes menores. Entonces van a ir a encontrar sus hermanos en grados menores y van a salir sobre, um, con la salida con sus hermanos. Si su estudiante, su hijo va a cam en caminar a casa, es importante Solamente se permite a los estudiantes de segundo a quinto grados a caminar a casa si ellos viven cerca, pero um, por favor notifica a la oficina, a la, a la, a la maestra o el maestro para que nosotros sepan que son, cuáles estudiantes van a eh, um, caminar a casa. Si tienen una cita, um, les, les, les uh, realmente pedimos que vayan a hacer esas citas um, en, um, despo, después de la escuela, pero si no se puede en la tardecita, porque la mayoría del aprendizaje en la mañana es lo más, más uh, primordial que sería la lectura, las matemáticas, pero también tenemos otros, um, otras áreas de que en la tarde, entonces si van a hacer su cita y tienen una cita en la tarde, llamen la oficina para que ya nosotros estemos listos para llevarlos a la entrada para que puedan ir a su cita. Thank you. So um, we're briefly going to go over visitors and volunteers, and then we're going to get to meals because I see the lunch questions. Um, but we are excited that we can have volunteers on our campus, um, but the protocols have changed for volunteers, and they're a lot more strict now. Um, estamos, yeah, estamos bien contentos de, de poder tener voluntarios, pero vamos a hablar el, um, sobre los procedimientos que ahora ten, tenemos que tomar en cuenta los protocolos de seguridad. So for our parent, um, for all school visitors, so if you have um, business that you need to do in the main office, um, if you're, you are two years old or older, then you are required to wear a mask, um, a face mask over your nose or mouth to come in, and then you will answer the daily health check questions. And then there's a visitor's log located in the front office that all visitors have to sign. And this is for contact tracing purposes. So if there is ever um, a positive case or an exposure, we knew that you came on the campus that day where you went, Um, who was there and, and your email address will also be asked so that we can call and email for contact tracing. Um, and then for school volunteers who are going to be in person or virtual, um, you can do virtual volunteering if there's a, a something that the teacher can do virtually and we also can have in person volunteers. You do have to apply through a district volunteer application. Um, Ms. Rios can put it in the chat. And then for on-campus volunteers, you have multiple steps to be cleared. And one of them is um, Megan's Law, um, that we will check the Megan's Law website. And um, we also need you to have a tuberculosis clearance. Um, and you will be submitting a daily pass each day and volunteers will be asked to COVID test. Um, so volunteers can also submit their um, vaccine card to the parent portal. The great thing about parent volunteers and COVID testing is that parent volunteers can test on our campus when the COVID testing unit is here. Um, so it is more strict and rigorous for safety reasons. Yeah. 
ahora eh, importante los que vienen a digamos, los que son visitantes a nuestra escuela si quieren visitar a la oficina cada persona tiene que tener una mascarilla y si tienen si traen con ustedes un niño de dos años o más también necesitan una máscara y también tienen que contestar las preguntas de, de, de chequeo de salud y aún tienen que llenar y escribir su nombre en, en la entrada a un libro donde pueden usar y lo usamos para la razón de que queremos saber quién está en la escuela, si acaso hay un caso, podemos notificarlos quién estaba en nuestra escuela y si estaban expuestos um, al virus y entonces podemos comunicarnos con nosotros. Estamos bien contentos que este año vamos a tener voluntarios en persona y hay un procedimiento donde tienen que seguir. Les puse el enlace en, um, en la caja de chat donde pueden contestar todos los voluntarios en tienen que recibir cada año, asegurar, uh, van a, hay una ley que se llama Megan y re, revisamos que nuestros uh, voluntarios um, tengan um, esa uh, seguridad que ellos estén, uh, pueden pasar esa ley, o sea que ellos están, um, tienen la posibilidad de poder trabajar con niños y también necesitan una, tener un, también ver si ya han tenido su vacuna de tuberculosis. Y, um, y también tienen que tener un diario, un pase diario cada, cada día que ellos llegan a la escuela. Antes de empezar, los estudiantes, los voluntarios necesitan tener un um, examen de COVID que salga negativo y también pueden venir a la escuela, en nuestra escuela, cuando ofrecemos esos exámenes y tomarse el examen en nuestra escuela para los que son voluntarios en um, en persona. También vamos a usar voluntarios tal vez virtualmente y necesitan llenar la aplicación. Uh, just again, our online volunteers, in case we have any virtual volunteers, you still need to um, submit a um, application as well. And we know that it's a, a little bit longer of an application and you do require to be COVID tested and have the tuberculosis test and everything, um, but the district is um, having sort of a universal safety precautions for any adult coming on campus. So these are the um, you know, safety precautions for staff. And if you're working with children, then it's the same for you as a volunteer. This is kind of the easy quick guide. So if you want to take a screenshot, it's helpful. It has where you go, volunteerapp.lausd.net. Ms. Rios, if you could put it in the chat. Um, we also will be hosting a volunteer orientation. Um, the very first month of school. So all of you interested volunteers who want to volunteer with us in person, I will do an orientation to go over the expectations and sort of, you know, all the things that we do here at school. So we're hoping that we have a good influx of new volunteers. We're excited to meet you and have you participate. And this is sort of the quick guide to help you. Entonces aquí vemos aquí el guía de, de, de voluntarios. Les puse otra vez el enlace en um, la caja de chat. Y ahí explica los pasos que tienen que tomar para ser voluntarios. Estamos como bien contentos de tenerlos en, a tener voluntarios en la escuela ahora de, de nuevo y aún ahí está el procedimiento. Pero estamos aquí, si cualquier cosa, eh, en cualquier cosa, si no, no tienen preguntas, llamen a la oficina. And again, in case you have any questions, of course, we're always here. Just go ahead and give us a call. We should be able to guide you through that. And a pro tip for... TB testing is that actually many doctors are not doing the TB prick anymore um, because it's so not prevalent, and, um, which is great um, in, our, in our communities. So actually they often will give you a form that's like a questionnaire and you actually just do a screening and they ask you questions about if you've traveled to certain countries where TB is prevalent or if you've not, and then they make a determination and then they sign off on the paper. So it's not necessarily a TB test. It can be the screening, but it has to come from your doctor and it's a certain form. Yeah. La pregunta era acerca de, este, de tener esa prueba de tuberculosis. ¿Qué hacen? Um, queríamos um, explicar de que por muchos casos, muchos de los doctores no están dando este examen de tuberculosis. Al contrario, más están llenando una forma donde les hace preguntas si ustedes, por ejemplo, han estado en un país donde tuberculosis es más um, prevalente, entonces ustedes, entonces, um, ahí es donde completan esa forma. Y uh, tal vez no necesitan tomarse esa prueba de tuberculosis, tal vez es solamente una forma. So now we're going to go over uh, child care options. Um, so we do have a morning um, program on our school campus, and we also have um, after school options. 
Um, so the, the morning program that's on our campus is for kindergarten through fifth grade students. Um, TK students potentially can come once they turn five. So it has to be five years old and up for the Ready, Set, Go morning program. It's free, it's here on our campus. Um, it starts at 6.30 in the morning. Um, um, the next other things that we have on campus is we have LA's Best, which is another free program for kinder through fifth grade students. Um, and that program runs after school until 6 p.m. Um, and they have a program where it's 20 students to one supervisor. And that program um, is designed where the students would actually stay all the way until 6 p.m. So if you're interested in a program where you would come and pick them up at 6 p.m., that's LA's best. We also have a youth services program, which is kind of like extended recess. The kids play outside with a coach and they can actually walk home at any time from that program or can be picked up at any time up until six. So those program, that program is so for older students, second through fifth grade. And then we do also have an on-campus daycare that is for a fee where parents can sign up. It's a private company called E3 Enrichment. And then we have two off-campus programs. Um, and I just connected today that LA Theater Academy or otherwise known as LATA will come back and pick up students here. Um, they are a theater program that teaches bilingually and they, they create um, like sort of children's theater productions. And they offer a daycare that they pick up here for kinder through fifth grade and then Bellevue Recreation Center, which is that, that Bellevue Park. They also will pick students up here. Um, so these are some of the important sort of um, daycare options you have. We talked about the fact that our students will be walked to the middle yard where they will be picked up by their program supervisors. The E3 program is located here in our library, kinder building, so our kindergartners can just go right to that place in the library, which is in their building. Um, and then Bellevue and Lata will also pick up in the middle yard. We will check their staff in um, with the daily pass and the health screening questions, and then their staff will come to our middle yard where they will get picked up. Yeah. Entonces, ahorita vamos a hablar sobre diferentes, um, diferentes programas que tenemos para el cuidado de niños de, antes de la escuela y después de la escuela. Antes de la escuela ya hablamos de, acerca del de programa a las seis y media, que es gratuita, o sea que no, no tienen que pagar, y se llama Ready, Set, Go, y empieza a las seis y media. Acá en la escuela hay diferentes otras oportunidades. Las, la, tenemos el programa que se llama LA's Best, donde los estudiantes pueden eh, participar si tienen cinco años o más, uh, hasta quinto grado, y es gratuito, no tienen que pagar, pero tienen que los estudiantes quedarse hasta las seis. Los estudiantes de segundo a quinto grado también pueden participar en un grupo en un cuidado de niño que se llama Youth Services, donde los estudiantes ya en la tardecita ellos um, Uh, tienen oportunidad de jugar afuera, uh, realmente ellos pueden salir a cualquier momento, pueden caminar a casa y no tienen que quedarse todo el tiempo. También hay um, otra uh, oportunidad para otro cuidado de niño que se llama E3, E3, y en ese sí te tiene que, um, sí se tiene que pagar para participar, um, toman los niños de, de kinder de transición hasta quinto grado. Um, y eso está en, en el edificio de la biblioteca donde los estudiantes pueden participar. Um, y eso es todo en nuestra escuela. Ahora también hay cuidado de niños después de, de, en otros lugares que son Bellevue y Lata, que significa el, una academia de teatro de Los Ángeles, donde los estudiantes los llevan, lo, el programa los lleva a otro lugar, a, tienen que pagar por estos servicios y ellos tienen, um, hacen producción de teatro bilingüe, uh, bilingüe en, en, en español e inglés y ellos um, participan en eso para los que están interesantes, también, interesados. También el programa Bellevue, también ellos um, también uh, participa, va, par, pueden participar en eso, pero sí tienen que pagar y ellos vienen a recoger a los estudiantes acá y se los llevan a, a, al, al parque de Bellevue. Y, Vemos acá que hay diferentes maneras de inscribir a, sus, a los estudiantes. Sabemos para el programa de Ready, Set, Go, lo pueden hacer el primer día de la escuela. Lo pueden hacer con una aplicación y ya está la aplicación lista en la, en la, en la oficina principal. Los estudiantes de LHP sabemos que la, el horario está hasta las 6 de la tarde. Pueden um, completar una aplicación uh, visitando este enlace que vemos acá. Y lo voy a poner de nuevo en la caja de chat. Y los, el programa de Youth Services, 
um, OIS, le dicen. Eh, um, ellos, eh, pues sabemos que los estudiantes pueden ser recogidos a cualquier momento, pero también tienen que llenar una aplicación de papel en la oficina. Y los otros programas acá de E3, tienen, vemos aquí hay un enlace y también para el programa de Bellevue y de LATA. Y eso vamos a, de nuevo a dar ese, esta información, lo vamos a mandar a, a, a casa con nuestra comunicación de correo electrónico. So this is how you can sign up for each of the different programs. And I will say that these programs, um, for example, Bellevue, LATA, E3, um, they only have a certain number of spots that they can take and they are first come first serve. Um, Bellevue hasn't opened their registration yet. So Bellevue will be at 9 a.m. Um, on August 9th and you have to go to the laparks.org website. You can also call and talk to Jimmy. Um, he is the supervisor over at for Bellevue. LATA, there is a website. Um, E3 is, has a website as well. Um, they may be opening more spots because you know we um, advertised a while ago that they would be on our campus and people started signing up. So maybe they will open more spots up. And then for LA's Best, it's an online application. Um, it's lasbest.org backslash application backslash. I put it in the chat for you. Um, LA's Best also has limited capacity. So they can only take about 67 to 70 students. Um, and then Ready, Set, Go can take 30 students in the morning. And then Youth Services can take more than that. Um, so they are limited capacity. So if you do need some free daycare options or um, daycare options that are a little bit more inexpensive like Bellevue, um, please you know, make sure to try to sign up. Um, we have applications in our office for Ready, Set, Go and for um, the youth services program and then LA's best again the is online. Importante aquí les voy a mandar los enlaces, pero sabemos que algunos programas es más um, hay solamente la capacidad es limitado. Entonces, por ejemplo, en el programa de Bellevue y el de um, teatro um, en la Academia de Teatro de Los Ángeles, ellos tienen, tienen so, ciertos números de estudiantes que pueden tomar. Entonces, por favor, si están interesados, inscríbanse porque um, los que llegan primero van a estar en, yeah, um, los, los que llegan tarde van a estar en lista de, lista de espera. Uh, sabemos que hay, um, si están interesados, eh, otros programas, como dijimos, el programa de Ready, Set, Go, LA's Best, um, Youth Services, todos no, no tienen que pagar para esos programas y aún las aplicaciones están en papel o en, en línea en los enlaces ahí. And we do notice that it says 2.23. Um, we just didn't put it on here, but on Tuesdays, which is our short day, all the programs start at 1.23. So we have daycare Monday through Friday when school gets out here on our campus or the ones that pick up. Mm -hmm. um, you can also obviously have, um, you know, a different caretaker pick the students up at their gate. So if you have a private babysitter or an au pair or a nanny or um, a pod, um, a lot of variations, they can pick them up as long as they are on their um, emergency card. And we know that they are, a, they are somebody who is, um, Uh, safe that you've signed off on for them to be picked up by them. Yeah. Y sabemos aquí dice 223, pero sabemos que um, sabemos que um, puede ser que a la 123 eh, todos esos programas eh, los martes que salimos tempranos sí sabemos que pueden um, usar estos servicios empezando a 123 y de repente como um, que mencionar si tienen alguien más que va a recoger a su eh, su hijo o hija por favor, asegúrense que estén en su lista de emergencia porque es importante uh, poder um, dejar saber quién, quién va a recoger a su alumno. So now getting into meals, um, students will be eating, um, be able to eat snack on campus and have lunch on campus. Um, so they will have the opportunity, all students can have the opportunity to get a free meal. That is for 100% of our students. There's nothing that you need to fill out. Everybody qualifies for free meal um, from our cafeteria. Our cafeteria does offer um, vegetarian options um, as well as non-vegetarian options. And in the past, we offered vegan options. And I think that the district is still doing the vegan. Um, the students can also bring um, a, a lunch from home and a snack from home. Our cafeteria will also offer snacks for free for students if they don't have a snack from home. 
And we will also have our drinking fountains back on. Um, if you remember from the spring that, that we didn't have drinking fountains on, students um, were given um, water bottles. Um, it was great that they were all given a free water bottle every day, but it made a lot of plastic and trash. So we're um, happy that the fountains are back on. Um, we do encourage your child to bring a reusable water bottle with their name on it. Um, students will eat lunch in our covered pavilion um, outside. And that's why we have three different lunch times so that we can provide some social distancing. Um, the LA County Department of Public Health guidance right now for schools is there's no social distancing requirement at all. Um, but we know that we're gonna be doing it as much as feasible. So that's why we have limited, um, we've added three different recess and lunches so that we can have some social distancing outside when they eat. Um, and then at the end of the school day, your child will come home with a uh, grab and go bag. And in that grab and go bag, we'll have two meals. It'll have something for breakfast that you can make them the next morning before school. And it also has a supper snack. We know in our community that not everybody needs this food um, or maybe this food doesn't fit with your family's dietary needs. So we will have, um, your teachers will have a correspondence with you that first week of school that you can um, opt out if you don't want the grab and go um, lunches. And that will help our cafeteria um, manager um, better plan and purchase what's needed for our school. Ahora vamos a hablar sobre las comidas. Sabemos de que, you can go to the next slide, Mrs. Second, here. Um, sabemos que acá tenemos diferentes comidas, cada este año diferente a otros años. Todos nuestros estudiantes, no importa um, uh, el, el suelo de sus papás, van a calificar por um, el almuerzo, el desayuno y, y una cena um, y bocadillos. Entonces, los estudiantes todavía pueden traerlos de casa, pero habrá bocadillos disponibles en la cafetería y también la hora de de um, pueden almorzar acá. El, um, otra cosa que un cambio que todos los bebederos ahora están um, disponibles para los estudiantes. El año, uh, el año pasado tuvi les, les, um, tuvimos um, que traer botellas de agua uh, para los estudiantes, pero sabemos con eso tenía mucho plástico. Entonces um, ahora los bebederos están uh, um, disponibles para los estudiantes, pero estamos recordando que si quieren traer botellas de aguas que es, um, reutilizables de casa. Eso sería um, muy, muy buena decisión para nuestro medio ambiente. Um, <coughs> los estudiantes van a almorzar en el pabellón de almuerzo. Es, está cubierto y da designado como área para comer al aire libre, siguiendo los protocolos de distanciamiento físico. Y eso es algo que nosotros realmente ahorita la um, el Departamento de Salud de Los Ángeles no está requiriendo esto, pero nosotros estamos tratando de, de tener más distanciamiento. Entonces, por eso tenemos ahora tres recreos, tres, or, uh, tres tiempos de comer para que tenemos menos estudiantes y puedan tener más espacio los estudiantes uno con el otro. Al final del día, los estudiantes van a recibir una bolsa para llevar que incluye desayuno para el día y también una cena para llevar a casa. Sé que algunos padres no quieren esa opción por tal vez por um, sus restricciones de, um, uh, de dieta o, um, entonces, o tal vez no lo necesitan. Entonces vamos a darle um, la primera semana de escuela, nos va a dejar de saber el maestro o maestra para que sabemos cuáles son los que quieren tener eso y cuáles no para ayudar a nuestra manejadora de la cafetería a ordenar el, la comida uh, apropiada para nuestra escuela. Um, so we hope we went over a lot of information, but we see some great questions in the chat that we'll go ahead and do a Q&A and answer. Most of the um, sort of COVID precautions and the COVID exposure um, we went over in our town hall, but I see some of those questions, so we'll go over those again in a minute. Um, my email address is there. It's um, N as in Nancy, X as in X-ray, S as in Sam, 0220 at LAUSD.net. Um, please go ahead and you know send me an email if you have any questions or concerns or you want to you have ideas we're open to them stay connected to us through mitchelterena.org through our um, facebook page and our instagram page which is mitchell Terena elementary our social media gurus with foam help us out a lot um, they also have a newsletter that is really great it goes out i think on fridays um, Aaron is the newsletter lady. Aaron, are you still here? I don't know. I think it goes out on Fridays. So 
stay connected. Yes, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and and yes, I, I try to set it out on Fridays normally, but I think I'll be sending out this week's one tonight just because there's so much happening tomorrow that I want to make sure people have information about. Yes, COVID testing tomorrow and all kinds of stuff. Exactly. Yes. Entonces, oh. ya, yeah, otras maneras de comunicarnos con nosotros. Aún vemos aquí el correo electrónico de nuestra directora y también puse mi... mi um, mi uh, correo electrónico también en, en la caja de chat, tiene nuestro número de teléfono, tenemos en las redes sociales. Uh, muchas gracias a, a los amigos de Micho Torena que nos ayudan a, a poner uh, um, las cosas, la información en Instagram y en Facebook. Y sabemos que también pueden inscribirse en nuestra página de web para los um, noticieros que mandan um, semanalmente, usualmente el video sus amigos de Mitsutorena con información, pero sabemos que también eh, mañana, usualmente es viernes, pero mañana lo van a mandar porque hay mucha información. So, um, I'll see. I think... that hoy. <laughs> oh, hoy. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's good. I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and I'll read the question to you, Ms. Sacalarian. It says, does the school use homework as part of the curriculum? Yes, we do. Um, Homework is an opportunity for students to practice their reading. So our biggest piece of homework is um, supporting students with reading. So if you are a um, have an emergent reader, then you're reading to your child, or they're listening. You know, they're listening to you read. Um, they're practicing their reading by telling you what's happening in the pictures. Um, if you have a, re a an already avid reader, they're reading. They're reading more like 30 to 40 minutes a night. So that was what that is our biggest piece of homework is that they're reading, reading, reading every day. Um, we also do have additional um, activities and assignments um, like choice choice boards in kindergarten, um, and in our older grades they begin to do project based assignments um, and things like that. So we do have homework, um, but we don't we're not a packet school. So your child's not going to receive a. a stack of worksheets um, on you know Friday afternoon that's due you know the next Friday. Um, we do have really strategic homework assignments that help keep kids um, um, practicing skills um, but isn't something that's overwhelming. In elementary school most of the research shows that um, worksheets don't really build their content and they should be um, doing other things to learn and having activities. So yes and no to the homework question. Yeah. Había una pregunta sobre la tarea, si nosotros usamos mucha tarea. Una cosa que sí vemos, los estudios han dicho que muchas veces las actividades de poner muchos papeles y escribir así, no, realmente no nos ayuda con las estresas, uh, destrezas que, de los estudiantes. Entonces, lo que sí pedimos es que los estudiantes leen todos los días para realmente tener ese amor a la lectura. Uh, sabemos que los estudiantes que no están leyendo ahora, tal vez los padres lo están leyendo a los niños. También tenemos actividades que los estudiantes pueden hacer, um, muchos proyectos que pueden hacer para ayudar en el aprendizaje, pero no van a recibir un paquete de tarea de que tienen que entregar un día al otro. Es mucho más, tiene que ver con actividades de aprendizaje y la lectura todo lo diario. All right, next question, Ms. Rios. Okay, next question is, do, TK, do the TK students also have homework? Yep, same as same as I just said. Yeah, sí, los, los de uh, kinder de transición sí tienen tarea. Pero es aún la tarea es diferente de lo que hemos pensado antes. Es más lectura. My child has an IEP and he's in incoming kindergarten. Will we be contacted about this, about accommodations before school starts? Great question. So we do have an assistant principal that supports elementary instruction um, for students who have disabilities and IEPs. Her name is Miss Sylvia Turner. Um, we can put her contact information in the uh, chat. She works at our school two days a week and she will be contacting you, contacting you to greet you to our school and discuss those services. Um, our service providers are teachers as well. So they don't start until the same time as our teachers. They start August 16th. And for some of our providers, we don't know who they are yet. So I don't know who our OT provider is. I don't know who our speech provider is. Um, so some of those providers we don't know yet, but we will be in contact with you regarding your IEP and your services. Um, often when a student is new, we have an incoming IEP um, within 30 days to go over those services. Entonces, si su estudiante está entrando y tienen um, servicios de educaciones especiales, ahí les puse el enlace. La información, la maestra, la directora de educación especial es 
um, Sylvia Turner, ahí está su información. Sí le vamos a tomar tiempo para contactarlos, pero sabemos que muchos de nuestros, um, nuestros psicólogos, otras personas no empiezan hasta el 13 de agosto, entonces no hemos, uh, no uh, vamos a contactar a nadie hasta, hasta que tenemos todo nuestro equipo. Um, how will the kids stay hydrated during the day, giving classroom eating, drinking rules for safety? So just like the spring, um, our students will be able to exit the classroom to be able to get water. So students can't take off their masks from the classroom, but they can go outside and have a drink of water. So they just bring their, their reusable water bottle and they exit the classroom and they have their drink and they go back in. Um, or they exit the classroom and they can go to a drinking fountain. And um, the same with bathrooms, students can have access to the bathroom as they need. Um, they ask, um, you know, they just um, have a sign with their teacher um, so that they're not interrupting the class and they can walk out with their buddy, their partner, and they can go to the, to the restroom. In our kindergarten building, the restrooms are all located right in the building. So our kindergarten students don't have to walk anywhere. It's right there next to their classroom. Mm -hmm. Entonces, la pregunta era, ¿cómo pueden los estudiantes tomar agua o ir al baño durante el día? Um, según nuestros guías de, de, y protocolos de seguridad. Y eso es, sabemos que los estudiantes no van a sacar la mascarilla cuando están en el salón, pero pueden salir del salón para tomar agua o ir al baño. Um, y sabemos que los, los baños de kinder están en el mismo edificio de los salones. I see, um, some, I see some questions that were way up earlier. So, will the cafeteria be preparing the food this year or is it pre-prepared meals? So the grab and go bags will be pre prepared meals, but the cafeteria during the school day, um, the students um, that receive the free meals, um, they will be prepared in the cafeteria by the uh, cafeteria managers and cooks. Um, oftentimes, though, some of them are pre prepared, they're kind of come pre cooked and frozen, and they have to be reheated in the ovens and then that's how they're served. Right. Y la pregunta era acerca de Um, la comida, si ellos ya cuando van los estudiantes va a estar todo pre, um, preparado o van a recibir comida ya calentita, lo demás, y, uh, a veces ya está preparado la comida. Sabemos para el último del día se lo mandamos y ustedes lo tienen que calentar, lo demás ya está todo preparado, pero durante el día la cafetería sí lo calienta, lo, lo que necesitan, pero algunos vienen ya preparados. Uh, next question is, What is the procedure if a staff or teacher or, um, or a child tests positive for coronavirus? Um, and then is there any distancing in the classroom? Um, so the social distancing requirements by the County Department of Public Health are non-existent now. So there is no social distancing requirement as long as there's other safety measures in place, meaning that we're doing robust testing, we're doing the daily pass and health screening questions and we have masks. That being said, we, we are trying to implement as much as possible social distancing when feasible. Um, in the classroom, they will be not social distance. They will have a partner at their chair. Um, so please know that that is the case, but we do have the other measures. Um, if there is a positive case that comes up through testing, um, our district has to have a, um, a, an exposure plan. So does our school. And then we also have a community engagement team that's part of LEUSD. So what would happen is the community engagement team would see the positive test through our LEUSD testing, or if a family um, submits a test that's uh, external and they see that the test came back positive, they would contact me. Um, the community engagement team would see these test results and contact us. And they also contact the individual. And then what they do is they begin contact tracing and they see who are close contacts. And then all of those close contacts are notified and they are asked to isolate and quarantine um, and monitor for, was, um, uh, monitor for symptoms. Um, especially if you are vaccinated, you may not get COVID and you may not get symptoms. So the isolation and quarantine is dependent on an, another negative test. So three or four days later, um, if you were exposed, you'll be isolated and you'll be asked to test again. So the teacher would test again or the student would test again. Um, and it's on a case by case basis. If like the classroom all needs to isolate, how many students may need to isolate um, based on the community engagements investigation of contact tracing. Um, so it's a very universal protocol that all of the school district is following. Um, this is also any other school um, in the any other school that's not LAUSD. It's all part of the LA County Department of Public Health, like contact tracing and sort of exposure management. 
el procedimiento, um, si el personal o el maestro o el niño está positivo por coronavirus, um, nosotros tenemos un procedimiento que seguimos, si, uh, si con, uh, contactamos, eh, primero si toman el examen a través del distrito, nosotros nos notifican inmediatamente y allí podemos hacer um, el grupo en el distrito, ellos averiguan Um, hacen, um, ven quién está, estaba expuesto a ese estudiante o personal. Ahí tomamos casos y los estudiantes, si necesitan, tienen cuarentena, uh, se hace eso y, y después, antes de regresar, tienen que tomar todos un, un, um, un resultado por, uh, negativo para el coronavirus. Um, y si ahí habrá algún distanciamiento en el, en el salón de clase, estamos haciendo lo que Um, nosotros podemos hacer, pero sabemos que ahorita no hay ningún uh, requisito que, uh, que tengamos que tener ese uh, um, distanciamiento, pero lo estamos tratando de, de, de uh, sugerir a todos a tratar de hacer eso. And um, I will I will say that LAUSD um, is one of the largest school districts in the nation, and we had the, one of the lowest um, positive case rates when we returned in spring. Um, so we have a good track record that these safety measures are working and in, and in place um, and are doing what they need to do. And we have all of these protocols in case it does happen. Erin, I saw you wanted to say something. Yeah, um, so yes, I, I, it's really true that we had some of the best numbers in the entire country. We're the second largest school district and over 600,000 students. And we only had 360 cases in the entire district in the spring and only something like 270 or the summer. So. Uh, very, very low numbers. And um, the other thing I actually, the initial reason why I had wanted to raise my hand was because um, we are very conscious about the fact that we are lucky to have all these beautiful outdoor spaces on our campus. And we're really hoping to take advantage of them and use them as much as possible because, of course, it's safer when kids are outside. So it's one of the reasons why FOAM, why Friends of Mitchell Trena decided to invest in, in Rich LA, bringing them back to our campus. Um, they're a program that comes into the garden and teaches classes in the garden. And so we really thought, you know, we'd love to use our community garden every chance we get. And we love, you know, the idea of them being outside and learning stuff in the garden. And then um, there's also a, a California butterfly garden that we are going to be providing stumps for so that classes, uh, classes or activities can happen in that space. And we're, we're also buying a tree so there'll be shade. So anyway, we're working on it. Long story short, we're yes. working on it. We're Our teachers to... are excited to, um, you know, utilize the outdoor space too. They've been They've been excited to have it. I mean, in the summer months, it gets warmer, but you know, we have you know clipboards and we have shady, mature trees. Um, so the teachers um, do utilize the spaces outside, um, and the kids love to do that. And we have you know a big green grass garden area. So yes, outdoor spaces are utilized, but um, there are often times, you know, a good chunk of the day where kids will be in their classrooms. But we have the MERV 13 air filters um, that um, count like an N95 mask. So a lot of safety measures in place. Y aún, bueno, eh, eh, tuvimos muchos comentarios. Aún quiero asegurar, eh, 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 voy a continuar con la traducción. Si, si no es necesario, me también uh, podemos, ya sé que ya sé, por, ya sé la hora, pero quiero asegurar que, que todos entiendan lo que estamos hablando. Aún es realmente las preguntas eran acerca de protocolos de seguridad y sabiendo cuántos estudiantes tenemos. Uh, realmente, aún también quiero, voy a, a comentar que tuvimos 85% de los estudiantes regresando y cero casos en nuestra escuela. Entonces, es sí, algo para, para celebrar, pero es por muchos de los protocolos que tenemos de seguridad, por el, la filtración del aire. Um, pero sabemos que uh, vamos a continuar con eso. Um, veo otras preguntas. Um, I see. Can we sign up for aftercare later in the school year? It might be too much for a kindergartner to be in school until 6 p.m. right away. Um, great question, and I, I do agree for a, a five-year-old to have their first experience with school and then be at school until 6 p.m. can be a really long day, um, but we know that some families, you know, that's just, you know, that's what they need, so it, kindergartners are allowed in the program. You can enroll um, later in the school year. Um, it just depends on if we have space, so you're going to want to come into the office and complete an application, and we'll, you know, get you in touch with the LA's best um, supervisors to see if they have space later in the year. Uh -huh. Pueden inscribirse después en el programa de LA's Best. Uh, tienen un estudiante de kinder y tal vez quedándose hasta las seis, empezando kinder sería mucho para nuestro estudiante. Entonces sí, uh, estamos de acuerdo aún y sabemos que 
um, pueden, um, en cualquier momento pueden contactar el, el, um, el grupo para ver si hay espacio para después decidir ponerlo en, en el programa de Elvis Best. Um, Hey, I, I saw some, uh, where can we get more information about what is served for lunches? Um, so we do have a district, uh, the district website does have a cafeteria one. It's called uh, cafe.lausd.net, I believe. Um, Ms. Rios, maybe you can double check that, but you can yeah. go to the cafe website and they can show you more information about the type of food. And then every month we also have a calendar, uh, a cafe like, um, menu calendar that goes out. And so we send that out to you via um, email and Blackboard Connect calls. Um, so you'll see what's being served and um, for the day and your child can choose if they want to have it or you can, you know, pack their lunch for them. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to drop that in the chat now. Um, entonces aquí le voy a poner <laughs> en um, el, uh, el enlace para ver el menú de la cafetería y recibir más información. Um, para qué es lo que van a servir cada mes, mandamos um, al principio del mes, mandamos el menú para el mes para que ustedes sepan qué es lo que van a dar, pero también um, uh, en el enlace le da más información. And, um, for school tours or office visits, you do not need to provide a negative COVID test, but you do need to um, answer the daily health questions and wear a mask. So for our school tours, um, you'll answer the daily health questions. You'll all wear a mask. If you have to come to the office for um, office um, inf um, business or information, you don't need to provide a negative COVID test. Okay. Si quieren venir a la oficina o quieren participar en a venir a la escuela para ver nuestro, nuestra escuela los días designados para los de kinder, primero y, y nuevas familias, no necesitan su prueba negativa de COVID, pero sí necesitan pasar el chequeo de salud, que serían las preguntas que le hacemos para visitar la oficina o para venir en persona. And then it's 6.29, so we're going to stop at 6.30, and I know that there are some questions we didn't get to, so um, chat is saved. It saves on our computer. Ms. Rios and I will um, look over the chat tomorrow, and we will reach out to those of you that we didn't get to your questions. Um, I do want to make sure I do get to this one question about COVID testing tomorrow. Um, if you are a new family, a new kindergarten student, you haven't created your parent portal, you do not need to do any of that for tomorrow. Tomorrow, you can just show up with your child. You're going to answer our daily health screen questions. You're going to say, no, I haven't experienced any of these in the past 14 days. You're going to say, no, my child hasn't. We're going to let you come on the campus and you're going to, child's going to get their COVID test and it's going to connect to, it's going to connect to their account right away um, because we've already enrolled them and we have their information here. Um, while you're here on campus, you can stop by our main office and we can help you set up your, your parent portal um, tomorrow if you need you know, in-person help, we can do that. But you don't need it for tomorrow. You don't need an appointment for tomorrow. So I hope tomorrow is easy breezy for you. I'm looking forward to seeing you. Um, we're taking turns, our office staff and Ms. Rios and myself will be taking turns checking people in tomorrow. Um, so maybe you'll get to meet one of us tomorrow morning. Yeah, de nuevo. Aquí no necesitan tener um, sus resultados en fase diario, van a hacer con las preguntas. Yo, la mano de Ms. Cecily, do you have your hand up first? I do, and I'm noticing how I have my eye all smudged. Forgive me. I just wanted to say that tomorrow from 10 to 12, Friends of Mitchell Terrain will also be outside of school. So if you want to buy a shirt or look through a yearbook or just say hi, we'll be there tomorrow too. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's great. We're going to be happy to see you guys too. And um, we're excited for the school year. Um, we know that this is a lot of information. So that's why we tried to put it out there in writing form as well. Um, and if we didn't get to some of your questions, we will, I promise we'll get to them and we'll, we'll get back to you tomorrow. I, I have most of your email addresses. Um, so the only, the only, uh, 